Okay, so we're going to talk about how um, plants uh, disperse their seeds. Okay, and don't forget, dispersal means to spread. Okay, so when seeds spread or plants spread their seeds, they're dispersing them. Okay, so disperse, you might see the word disperse. Okay, so those words are the same word. Dispersal is the process of, and to disperse is spreading. Okay, so plants spread their seeds in different ways. Okay, um, one method that plants use to disperse their seeds is by animals. And this is probably the best way animal they use animals to disperse or spread that's what that word means to spread their seeds okay and one of the things that we talked about in class oops seeds uh, was <clears throat> hitchhikers and those are the little um, fuzzy things that you get on your clothes and they stick to your clothes and they're really soft and fuzzy and those are actually little seeds and that's the plants um, way of dispersing its seeds by having those little hitchhikers stick on you so hitchhikers uh, any of you guys have gone to the beach and um, gotten those little sand spurs stuck to you. Um, those are little seeds, sand spurs. So what they do is they stick to your body, uh, your, um, your shorts or your shoes or your feet or your hands. They stick to animals like birds and um, foxes and dogs, whatever goes by them, and they um, disperse the seeds. Um, the dog might scratch because the sand spur sticks into him and the sand spur falls off and then makes a new plant. Another way uh, animals disperse seeds is um, think of our little friend, you know, my little, the little guy that I love on uh, Ice Age where he takes an acorn and he buries it under the ground. Well, an acorn is just a seed and that acorn will actually eventually um, grow into a tree. Um, another way is with fruit. Plants make beautiful enticing fruit and animals eat the fruit and the seeds eventually end up somewhere else so that's a great way to disperse seeds using animals by um, having them eat the fruit. So there's a number of ways that um, plants use animals to disperse their seeds. Another way to disperse seeds is by wind. Wind is another way that plants use to disperse seeds. And if anybody has ever blown on a nice fluffy dandelion or you make a wish, you're actually dispersing the seeds. And each of those little fluffy things on a dandelion is a seed with a little parachute. And the wind, the idea is that the wind comes along and blows it, and then the seed blows away, lands far away from the plant, and ends up becoming another dandelion plant. And the whole thing can start over again. This dandelion gets fertilized, makes a bunch of seeds, they get blown. Uh, so a lot of uh, plants use wind. The milkweed plant that we talked about in class also does that. There's quite a few that use wind for dispersal. And the last way is by water. And if you guys remember the lily pad, um, the lily pad sits in the water, and has this beautiful flower that grows off of it. And the flower attracts pollinators and then it creates a seed pod. And if you guys remember, it was kind of a funny shaped seed pod and it had these big holes in it and when the seed pod fell off of the, the plant on the lily pad, it floated along upside down, actually, and each of those little holes where the seeds were would fall out and into the water. 
would see this is the water, and the seed would fall down under the water and make a new lily plant. So that's another way that you can disperse seeds. Um, coconut trees do the same thing. Um, and they are a beautiful coconut tree. There's the coconuts, and the coconuts fall into the water, and they go along the, the water, and they might end up on um, in another place and become another palm tree. Okay, so seeds use three different ways to dis or plants use three different ways to disperse seeds. So they disperse their seeds or spread their seeds by animals. And humans are animals, so we do the same. We help them by wind and by water. Okay.